Introducing the D'Addario Auto Lock, made with locking strap ends for an easy to use clip on system. When you're done, just pull the latch and slide it off. Keep your guitar on lock with the Dario Auto Lock. John Bollinger, I am with Ali Venable, and we are somewhere in the middle of the Caribbean, right? Yes, yeah, somewhere in the water, yeah. somewhere in the world. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in the water. Yeah, we're on the uh, Giovanna Massa Keeping the Blues Alive tour, cruise, and uh, I'm so glad you could uh, could join us. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really <I've>, excited. <laughs> yeah, how great to be here, right? Yes, yes, it's been an awesome experience so far. This is our very first cruise to play on, and I'm so happy um, to be on this cruise and see everybody and meet everybody and hear everybody when I can. So. Amazing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, Buddy Guy was just playing upstairs yes, when you were sound checking. So. Yes, <laughs> yes. Pretty amazing to catch yes, it. Yes, I'm a big fan of Buddy Guy, oh, for sure. Oh, right. God, amazing. <laughs> hey, so let's start right here. This okay. is a very cool Les Paul. Let's hear all yes. about it. Yes, so um, in the 90s, um, Gibson did um, a limited colors edition and there, there's like a little stamp on the back. Oh, oh how great. Of it. And, um, and uh, yeah, they did all these different colors, which is cool. And um, with funny, this funny story, so there's like a mistake on the guitar. <laughs> so um, my rhythm and treble are like backwards. So right here it's on the rhythm and then this is the treble. <laughs> So I get so confused sometimes when I'm playing with like the volume knob. So I just literally just turn everything up or everything down sometimes. Cause, right. but, but that's just like the little mistake on it. And then on the back, there's like some wear from like my belt that's great. on the back, but. Good, oh, honest yeah. rock and roll wear. Yeah, yeah that's And great. I actually dropped this guitar twice and it actually on the back, um, it like made, it broke right here but it was still intact so I've, I've had it repaired like two times oh no but it, it looks like it hasn't been so no it looks great That's, so do you but, know what is the official color do you know um, magenta, what the, magenta magenta yeah okay yeah what have you done to it have you um, uh, I haven't done anything to it other than I did lose like the uh, little what are these things called uh, I don't even know the Tip. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever this Whatever is, it fell is. off. It fell off on the floor in one of like the clubs I was playing at, and I didn't realize it until we had left. And sure. so I just stole it off of my other Les Paul. My I have a '58 uh, custom shop, and I just put it on this one because right. I play this one live. So, yeah. but other than that, I haven't done anything to it since I since I got it. And I got this from a very good friend um, at the Dallas Guitar Show from Jimmy Wallace. And he, um, I got it from him in the 58 reissue. Huh. So How long shot. do you had it? Um, I think maybe, maybe two years, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Because I've seen you mainly, actually mainly on a, on a strap, on but strat, I guess we'll yeah. get to that. Yes, yes. Uh, um, but yeah, I've been, I've had this for a little bit. I think two, maybe two years I've had it, but I've been playing it a lot here now. Was so. it a bit of an adjustment just to? Um, well, I mean, there's, for different guitars, there's always a different approach to playing. Like right. I wouldn't, I mean, I would still play, you know, kind of the licks that I know and the playing that I know, but I wouldn't play how I would play on my Strat like I would on my Gibson. I well, probably like a Gibson would be more like technical playing and more like boxy playing, I guess, for me. Sure. For me anyways, on, on a Gibson and then on my Strat, like more, um, bends I guess or and I have a whammy bar on that or a tremolo bar oh, or whatever cool. you want to call it yeah sure whammy bar <laughs> on the yeah. strat and so I play there's a definitely a different approach to playing when you have different types of guitars like Gibsons and strats and sure. tellies and stuff so yeah that's the draw they make you play they take they get different stuff out of you yeah. for sure okay <laughs> speaking of different stuff I see that telly yes. let's take a look at that thing. alrighty so this one I play I have an open D tuning and um, I play slide on it mm.
Okay, so before we get into this cool telly, is that the Billy Gibbons uh, Mexican Lottery it is, slide? It is slide? the Billy Gibbons uh, Mexican Lottery slide. There we go. He's one of your Texas homeboys. <laughs> yeah, I actually got to meet him uh, this year at, when we went to NAMM. I did um, a show um, with Gibson Guitars. Oh, cool. And he was backstage, and I was playing. I had my that Gibson, the Les Paul, and um, I got put in a gr in the green room with him. There was different green rooms, and I got was lucky enough to be in there. Oh, cool. And did um, you have his slide with you? I didn't have my slide uh, with him, like <laughs> while I was talking to him. But I was playing uh, "Sunshine of Your Love" on my Gibson, and he was like, he like took it from me, and he's like. Play it like this, and so he like showed me a different way, but it was like more rocking. Yeah. Like, he's like the way you're playing is just kind of girly. So, <laughs> so he, he, but he was so nice to me and stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm using the Rev Willie's oh, Mexican Lottery slide with Billy that, Gibbons. That's great. Yeah, the ceramic slide. Well, it's, it sounds fabulous. Now let's yeah. hear about this, this Frank yeah. and Telly. Yeah. Guy. So this isn't an actual Telly. It just looks like one. I'm, it's a fake telly <laughs> with a broken string that I just replaced yeah. um, and um, my good friend his name was um, Richard Rains and I what happened with this guitar it didn't look like this before and um, he was in like he was in a rock band he toured all over the place and um, it, the band was called perfect stranger and um, he I traded some like cheap pedals for it and he gave me this guitar in like an amp like a really? line six mod amp or whatever and I still had that amp um, but um, it didn't look like this and so he like remade it and um, he actually uh, passed away like in the middle of making the guitar Ooh, wow. so I had so somebody that worked at the shop like finished it off but I always think about him whenever I'm whenever I'm playing it he was very very special to me he was uh, a guy that you know kind of introduced me into the music scene and you know into playing so yeah. it was really cool to have somebody like that you know and have a guitar to remember somebody how so. great yeah, yeah <laughs> so this one's really special to me do you so he built it but did he yeah. tell you about the ingredients or like the or is it kind of did it? it it just kind of no he just didn't really tell me he didn't tell me i think these are hot rail pickups or something that looks about right yeah um, they're definitely rails and then yeah. what was cool um this is like an acid wash so like they got like some chemicals and like oh, okay and made it look like relics they actually relic the guitar and like threw it down the stairs and like chiseled <laughs> it on the back you know so they this like, one was you're like just let me play it for a year I'll, yeah I'll yeah i'll make neck. it look like this my gibson already looks like that but yeah. but yeah they they did so much to, to make it look like it was worn and yeah. stuff so and i like it and it's yeah, I love that to me chicken head knob there. Yeah, and then one fell off. You can see how good I take care of my guitars. So everybody's going to be like, what the heck? But the, I had another one there, and it fell off, but I thought it looked cool. So I just, yeah, it looks, I just kept it off. Well, and you're probably not messing with the volume that much. Yeah, that. yeah. It's usually just, like, cranked up anyway. Yeah, so. loud and proud. But, yeah, that's my telly. Yeah, it's well, it sounds fabulous. Okay, let's end with the one that most people have seen you with, right. the Strat. <laughs> Yeah, so um, this one is a uh, 2006 um, American Made Strat, and I've had this guitar since I think I first started playing guitar. I was probably about 12 or 13 when I got this, and I've used it. I'm 20 now, yeah. so I've used it for that long, and um, it's just been a great Strat. I have um, Fishman pickups in it, oh, so cool. I charge it in the back. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> for the charger. New... Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. and I met I met Fishman through my very good friend Gary Hoey. He was doing, oh, sure. he had some signature pickups with him I think um, a couple years ago when they first came out with like the Fishman Fluence pickups I yes. think. And he was like, "Allie, come check these out." And so I got connected with them through through Gary and he's he's been so awesome. Yeah, so great guy. <laughs> he's a really great player. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've just been and it has like a I think it's like a 10 to 15 decibel boost if I believe. Okay. I know there's a decibel boost. I think it might be 10, but I'm not sure. But I always leave that on. I never like play with it and play with it like off. So yeah. I just leave that on. And Permanently boosted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually it probably matches the hot rails and the humbuckers when it's boosted like that. Yeah, yeah. It gives it just a little extra oomph to, sure. the, to the sound. Yeah. 
So, but yeah, if you want me to play something. Yeah, on, actually, yeah. let's well, let's see this. I want to hear a bit about that amp. Oh first. yeah, my cat five. And, yeah, okay. Let's hear about that cat five. Okay. Um, so I was playing um, the Dallas Guitar Show um, a couple of years ago, and um, they backlined the whole amp, the whole festival. And so I got in contact with Don Ritter, who makes the amps, and he's from Dallas. And so they're beautiful amps. That amp is that Andrew model, which is, I think it's modeled after like a Fender Blackface okay. type amp. Um, and there's two different channels. Um, there's like a, a distortion channel or overdrive channel or whatever on the first channel. And then I go through the second channel, which is the clean channel. And I like to push my pedals through the, through the clean channel. Sure. And there's 606 tubes in it and a 112 Austin speaker okay. as well. So beautiful amp. I love it so much. The clean, Did you beautiful. pick that color? Yes. I was like, Don, do you have like purple amps? <laughs> and he was like, well, yeah, I can make a purple amp. So um, it turned out beautiful and I've been playing it for several years now and I just love it. I love the tone of them, the, the clean, just it's it's great because the pedals just come out so clear and you can just hear it very well. So I really love it. That is the perfect segue. <laughs> let's talk about let's talk My about pedals. your pedal board. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's start with your wireless. Okay. So you're running what is that? Yeah so um Boss just sent me last year when they first came out with them, they sent me the W WL fifty um, wireless system and you can go about 70 feet from the stage like if you're to oh. go off the stage which is which is pretty cool yeah and I've used it like all throughout my Europe tour and and here and it's done no awesome. issues no no issues the oh. only thing is you have to make sure that it's charged or else like it's not gonna work. but no batteries <laughs> right yeah no you don't have to do batteries it does take batteries yeah like um double a batteries yeah um but you can put it in your power supply which i have i have like a little one spot pro on there so right and before i talk any more about my pedals my pedal board actually got stolen oh no so at the guitar show or at the hotel that i was staying at and so i was lucky enough to be working with great companies like keely and um and uh, big joe stomp box they I told them what happened and they just sent me pedals right back. So that was super nice of everybody to like pitch cool. into my stolen mishap. <laughs> what, a, what a cool community. Right? <laughs> it, it was so cool. But um, and then on my next pedal, I have a Crybaby Deluxe Wall, okay. which is cool. It's, I can get some really cool. Uh, and I have it. I, I can't remember what setting I have it on. I think it's like the third. There's different channels you can yeah. choose on this one. So I think I have it in like the middle. I think it's like the third or fourth notch, like down, if you were to start up, go down. Yeah. It sounds really killer, <laughs> and I wish you all could see these cheetah, these oh, cheetah yeah. boots that Alex's wearing. They're perfect for that. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, so that's great. And so my next pedal I have um, after that is the Vertex. It's by Vertex, and it's called the Dynamic Distortion sure. pedal. And I just I love how it sounds. I actually use it on my um, album that I'm putting out this year for most of the rhythm guitar. Um, tracks and the lead guitar tracks. I used my Les Paul and um, this Dynamic Distortion, and it just sounded huge. So, That's um, great. but I use that to kind of, um, if I need a little extra like drive, I have a Keeley Super Fat mod that it's kind of like a tube screamer type sound. Right. And so I use um, I use that for my main like overdrive. But if I just need like a little more crunch or more fuzz or just a little more something, then I'll add I'll top that with with the oh, dynamic, dynamic okay so use it in conjunction usually yeah. rather than okay let's yeah. hear okay yeah. cool. so this is like without the the vertex uh. you know just like yeah sounds great and then um, to, if you want a little more, because it's fairly clean, like it's, it's just a little bit of 
the store of overdrive to the to the tubes, you know. Yeah. So if I wanted to. <laughs> Um, more. <laughs> it's, yeah, it sounds killer. Yeah, I love it. But and there's a real, real clarity to it too. Yeah, it's like a yeah, little it's dirt very clear. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and great. Then, um, uh, this one is the Monterey um, Custom Shop Edition. I did have like a Jimi Hendrix one um, um, by Keeley, and it had like the hearts on it. And, right. Um, but that one got stolen. So, but they sent me this. Um, custom shop edition which it sounds exactly the same and it has all these different um, sounds you can get out of it it has a um, a rotary a univibe um, oh and we gotta a hear wah. a couple of these well, so which ones <laughs> but I use I don't I don't really use those on the on that pedal I use the um, octave on it okay and I usually pair it with um, either the, the either the overdrive or the distortion pedal that I have yeah so it's like a It's killer. <laughs> it's so it's really cool, and I yeah. really like how how thick it sounds too. So. Totally. Okay, that's great. And then for my last pedal that I have on here, um, it's the Carbon Copy Analog Delay. Um, sure. And it, I think it's just the they came out with like another one, a bigger one. Yes. Um, but I don't know what that one's called. But I have I'm using the original Carbon Copy Delay, and I can get some really nice. Um, sounds out of that too, yeah. and I have the I have everything. I have the um, what is it the regine and mix to like barely like at just barely over what is it like what is it's like barely up basically. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're, they're, yeah they're they're very sensitive. Yeah, they are really yeah. sensitive. Yeah, let's but hear it's that. Really fun. And that's with the with the fat. I like to hear like a really like loud delay. I don't like it to. A lot of people like it to fade off, but I really like to hear the the delay like right after. Sure. So. Yeah. Sounds great. And you use that one spot. Uh, oh yeah, I just use the one, one spot, spot pro. pro. Okay. I did have a Voodoo Lab, but that got stolen yeah. as well. So I just needed something really quick. Then the guitar store just had a one spot there, so I just I just got it. Yeah. <laughs> sounds great. Now what? Um, uh, what strings are you using? Um, I use Ernie Ball strings. I use the the tens, the okay. super synthy tens, and they've, I've used them since I first started playing. On the telly too. On the telly, I use a, I think I use eleven on heavier. the telly, and I haven't changed those strings in actually like forever. <laughs> I sound like the laziest guitar player, <laughs> but that's just I've tour all the time and. No, I strings. get it. I get um, it. And I have tens on the Gibson as well. Yeah. So, and sometimes I'll use nines on the Gibson when I change it out but for the most part it's just tens on, yeah. on these two so yeah yep. yeah well very cool and, and i use the dun i use dunlop um um 1.14 millimeter yeah in your signature color <laughs> it just just worked out that way <laughs> yeah that's great well thanks so much congratulations on all your success thank you so much thank you for having me i really yeah it. <laughs> well let's go cruise <laughs> cheers